Hi, I'm Mr. Asuo, and this is my plastic box wild card for the Grand V Box Battle 2024. Mr. Esso, oh my gosh, bro. <sighs> wow, man. He's like one of these guys, man. I'm just like always super, super impressed with Mr. Esso. I feel like he has like such immense knowledge when it comes to like creating tracks. Just not on the loop station, just like music in general, man. Like every time I hear him, yeah. he just like always impresses me so much. Yeah, I I think he he like produced music before yeah before he even started to loop so yeah and like just talking to him in general mm -hmm. and especially now that i start to know more it's like i'm getting more and more impressed by his stuff because like before when i was less experienced i probably wouldn't have noticed the stuff he's actually doing yeah because it's on like the higher level and now that i'm you know starting to understand more it's like more and more impressive to me especially you know he's using a plastic box after all so <laughs> yeah he's just like a yeah. he's one of those guys that i first saw like use like the loopy pro and stuff as well so i feel like he has like a great knowledge to just kind of like navigate through like really anything that's used to like create music and i know that he also is like very well versed in ableton as well so mm -hmm. yeah he's just in general a very good music producer and you know, it's great to have someone like him kind of in the loop station scene. 
and I've talked to him before. It was only a very short conversation, but like, you can kind of like also hear like the kind of passion and like the knowledge through that. Just like having a conversation with him as well. So yeah. And yeah. in terms of this wild card though, like I seen this come out like two or three weeks ago, I'm getting around to it now, but he's like one of the first people, at least the first person that I saw actually put out a wild card for this competition. So like, he's very early in the pack, right? And like, this is only a one round competition this year for loop station. So obviously just like the German champs that we just watched before this, it's going to be very, very highly competitive. But man, you know, he definitely has like, you know, the chops to kind of like make it through. So. Yeah. I mean, like the first thing, like, I think, I think he, he was the first, very first wild card. Cause like, um, in some way he has to be, cause like he, he really put it out really much, like pretty much right away. Yeah. Um, at like, since it, wild, wild cards opened, mm -hmm. I don't think the rules were even out yet or something like that. Um, but Yeah. One thing I gotta say is I'm really glad I don't have to go against them like in in the wild card at least. Yeah. Because I I don't know what I would have done. You got the golden Honestly. ticket already. Yeah, I mean, and I'm really really grateful for all that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and like for those of you who, who don't know, like this this track is um I think you used it for Clip Two V Two and um West Coast Champs um. Yeah, shout out to Asuo for winning West Coast Champs this, um, well, 2023, as well as 2022, right? Um, it it was drum and bass, but now it's like halftime. And yeah, just the sound design, it just matches both styles really well, I think. And it's just the cleanliness is really what impresses me the most. I also love like yeah. his, his like texture and his basses too. Like I remember listening to his uh Horizons track for the first time. Mm -hmm. I feel like man, he has some of like the best like sound design in terms of like his bases that he uses in his track. I don't know how you feel about that, but like Yeah. I mean, same. And for me, more so even like the the melodies and like the the well not not in this track, but like when he uses like chords, like strings, those are really um that's what impresses me the most, at least. But yeah, the basses too. I mean, I I have a long way to go, to, in terms of my my technique with with just the plastic box, at least. But, yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, I just really hope I want to see I want to see Mister Suo see what he can actually do, like on the big stage. Obviously, like you mentioned before, he's the the West Coast champion, I think, for twenty twenty two, and I know that he. Did for fact win it last year. I think he faced unhinged in the finals, which I haven't seen those videos. I don't even know if they're released yet. And also, you mentioned that he used this track before, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, like, um, yeah. Fun fact: twenty twenty two, he he went up against me when I was feedback. I don't know oh, if you know, but yeah. <laughs> That's right, because you said you had you stayed in uh, America, like you were there for a while, right? Yeah, and that was my uh, that was my first live event, and um, yeah, you 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 probably don't know new feet, but then what happened was I lost all my gear. Basically, my Uber drove off with all my gear. Oh, what? And you had to use was, somebody else's. I used the Suo's loop station actually, oh. so it was really very very nice of him to to let me do that. And, and it was probably the, like the first ever and like the only battle where. Um, both competitors use the same loop station. <laughs> <laughs> I, man, yeah. that actually sounds hilarious. I got to go back and watch that. I haven't seen that video actually. That's funny. I, yeah, it was. It's funny because, yeah, the quality of my stuff was really, really bad. <laughs> I mean, given like thirty minutes or forty minutes, I had like um, I tried my best, but yeah, it was just good memories overall. It's my first event, so yeah. <laughs> All right, so that is Mr. Suo's GBB 2024 wildcard again. He was super, super early to this. Um, probably the first person to put it out, which, you know, doesn't in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter, but, you know, like some people want as much preparation as they want, but it seems like someone of the caliber like Mr. Suo and like his kind of like, you know, the way he navigates through the loop station and his kind of like experience and knowledge and music creation in general, that's not like the biggest impact for him. So yeah, I'm really excited to see if he can actually potentially make it through because I'd love to see Mr. Rest as well, uh, make it to the Grand Beatbox battle. So yeah, anyway, so. yeah.
uh, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Uh, if you want to check out Mr. Esso's original video here, link is in the description, like always. Go check out his channel as well. Link's in the description to that. Uh, if you want to support me, though, you can leave a like on this video. You can sub to my channel. You can check out my Discord channel. Link's in the description to that as well. And Duncan. And, yeah, um, you can find me, um, Duncan Loops, on all platforms. So, yeah. All right. YouTube, Instagram. Awesome. Other than that, we will see you in the next Beatbox Reaction video.